What's the state of North Carolina's GDP? The state's GDP in 2022 was $542.1 billion, which is up 1.8% from the previous year. Over the five years ending in 2022, North Carolina's GDP has increased at an annualized rate of 1.7%. Also, North Carolina's GDP growth during the previous five years places it in the top 18 of all 50 states in the United States. Gross state product, also known as GDP, measures the state's economic production by tallying the value added by all of its industries. It's widely used as a gauge of a state's economic vitality. Which sectors generate the most money for the state of North Carolina? Curious to know more? Well, stay tuned for that. Hello there everyone and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as press that bell icon to never miss out on an update. Having said that, let's get into the video. Commercial banking, life insurance and annuities, and hospitals were the three highest earning sectors in the state of North Carolina in 2022 with $54.8 billion, $54.4 billion, and $41.1 billion respectively. In 2022, the largest employers in North Carolina were the state of North Carolina with 82,000 workers, Walmart Inc. with 63,028 workers, and Food Line LLC with 44,088 workers. In what ways does North Carolina's economy contribute to the nation's overall GDP? Overall, 41.1% of North Carolina's GDP in 2022 came from the manufacturing, real estate and rental and leasing, and professional, scientific and technical services industries. If you want to know which industries in a state are most vital to its economy and how that industry is changing over time, you should look at GDP trends by sector. Now, where can I find information about employment in North Carolina broken down by industry? North Carolina's top three employment generators in 2022 were the healthcare and social assistance industry, retail trade, and the accommodation and food services industry, which together accounted for 39.7% of all jobs in the state. An essential indicator of the relative health of different industries within a state's economy is the corresponding trend in employment. How do evolving employment trends affect the state of North Carolina? North Carolina will have 4,971,626 jobs in 2022, the eighth most in the United States. North Carolina's 2.2% annual job growth from 2012 to 2022 is lower than the national average of 3.7%. In 2022, the major industries in North Carolina were healthcare and social assistance, 714,503, retail commerce 622,300 and lodging and food services 431,322. North Carolina has the 29th highest unemployment rate in 2022 which is 3.7 percent. North Carolina's unemployment rate is declining at a slower rate than the national average until 2022. Employment patterns indicate the economy's health and the labor market's tightness or slack. Faster job growth indicates a robust and rising economy, whereas a low unemployment rate indicates a tight labor market. Can you tell me about the disposable income in North Carolina per person? The Disposable Personal Income DPI, or Disposable Income per Capita is the average amount of money left over after paying income taxes in the country. In 2022, North Carolina ranked 17th among the 50 states in terms of DPI with a figure of $53.3,000. This is compared to the national average of $56.6,000. Many economists consider changes in discretionary income to be a leading signal of aggregate demand, the health of the labor market, and the stability of household finances. What can we learn about a state's economy from looking at construction trends? North Carolina's non-residential construction business was $6.9 billion in 2022, which is 10th in the United States. North Carolina ranks 39th in residential construction, $468 million in 2022. From 2017 through 2022, North Carolina issued 93,981 construction permits, a 7.6% yearly increase. The construction sector generates jobs, income and taxes for any country. 
construction activity affects manufacturing, wholesaling, warehousing, transportation, real estate, rental and leasing industries. Building industry trends are useful economic barometers. North Carolina's three most populous counties in 2022 were Wake County, 1,173,982, Mecklenburg County, 1,163,409, and Guilford County, 547,856. That's all guys, so what do you think? Leave us your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you a lot for watching our video, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Also, don't forget to put on the notifications as the next video is going to be a blast.